Alright. Alright, let's do it. How's he gonna kick off the season? Like what camp is he in? Where what's he doing? What's going on? Um he's exiled, he's uh, across the river, he's rebuilding. Um you're gonna see him um, have uh, relationships with uh, new characters, and I think in last season you saw him sort of um, in, in a leadership role, balancing things, and the fate of the city was, was in his hands, and now he's lost all that, and he's got to rebuild on a smaller scale. So we get to see him um, interact with characters like Josh, you know, who's pretty much his only friend, see him rebuild, maybe bring in like new vampires. And, New characters. So. <laughs> so, what's it like going from you know doing like something, I guess like a regular drama like uh, Grace and Adam or something like that, then going to like uh, doing um, the originals now with more supernatural? How, how do you like that transition? Um, it is uh, two different two different things. It's like I went to Europe and people ask me like, what's your favorite uh, city? I mean, between Barcelona, Paris, and, and Rome, it's <laughs> right. like. Um, it's really tough to, to choose. So what what um, like with Grey's Anatomy, I mean, it was a great great cast, um, great network, great writers. Um, shot in LA, right down the street. And then with the originals, also like a great cast, and we're all growing together. Um, so supernatural or, or, or dramatic aside, um, it's just a great ex experience. Um, it is different with supernatural because our schedule. Um, changes with the drama like um, Ray's we're always in the hospital you know here we're driving an hour out to different parts um, of Atlanta and I'm shooting in different locations we shot in um, what was it uh, not an insane a, a sane asylum but a, um, sanatorium where the next week they were shooting ghost hunters and I talked to a friend who works on ghost hunters and he goes yeah the crew said that was by far the scariest place in like nine seasons they've ever been so, not something that I would do on Grey's Anatomy right, right. <laughs> um, so yeah there is that, that element so are, are uh, you, or your character and Klaus like true friends again now? He's, I, know. I think true friends is someone that you can call and just say, hey, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? You know, how was a week? Cool. You know, see if we can hang out. So they're not on that level yet. Um, but they do still have each other's phone numbers. Um, they still call each other from time to time. It's usually just about business, about taking over the city. But they, at least now, we answer each other's calls. Put it that way. So still a partnership, more of a partnership type. Yeah, 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 for sure. They still need each other um, in that way. So what can you tease us about Marcel's rebuilding plan? I mean, it seems like his plans haven't exactly gone off yeah. without a hitch. His last few yeah, schemes have kind of gone awry. I'm hoping he's going to try something new. Um, but yeah, he was the man um, who took over the city and now um, everyone else is trying to do it um, present day and so they're going to come to him for advice you know and that also means working together with other characters that he hasn't worked with before now that Klaus is sort of out of Marcel's picture um, and yeah like I said you'll get to see how he um, rebuilds present day and maybe I don't know if we'll see flashbacks of um, how Marcel um, built his uh, his uh, status and, and following um, from the past. Is there a piece of Marcel's backstory, some flashback that you would like you be curious about? Oh yeah, yeah. I would like to see um, like taking over New Orleans um, and using the witches to um, push out the werewolves. Um, and then getting Davina and using her to, um, you know, um, subdue the witches. Then they turn. Uh, it's it's a real interesting time. It's kind of like dipping back into American history, and you wonder like through all those power struggles um, between breaking off from you know civil war, colonial rule, and every other thing, you know, power in the '60s and civil rights and things like that. And now we have America, and so there's a lot of history there. Um, for uh, Marcel and, and the city of New Orleans. Will Ken and Marcel be a thing in season two? There's still a little romance there that, that's that's still um, carrying carried over from season one. So yeah, there's a um, there's definitely a, a storyline there. Uh, and Yeah, I mean, when you're, uh, he, I think he has the understanding of being um, immortal, like, 
sometimes you gotta you know take a take a back seat, but there's hope because <laughs> of that whole uh, eternity thing that you might you know be able to um, uh, regain control. So he's he's fine with biding his time and planning. I think. You know, if Marcel were to regain control of the city, what kind of leader do you think he'd be this time around? So I hope he'd be a little bit more diplomatic, you know? Um, I think he thought he was diplomatic in the sense that vampires had all the freedom, but he left out the wolves and the witches. Um, so I would like to see them, I'd like to see him try to unite them. But, you know, you're going to have to find, I think, a common enemy, whatever it is. I don't, maybe they'll fight um, global warming or, <laughs> you know, just something. I hope he, like, he figures that out. Like, you have to fight something outside of, of yourself, the supernatural community. Philanthropist vampires. Yeah, why not? Change the world. I like to see that, you know. I think that's the only place it can go. <laughs>